For this question up here where we have four different graphs which are all to do with SHM, we just had to identify which number, one, two, three or four, corresponded to each statement. So the first one looked at total energy and displacement and this is going to be the same constant value and therefore the total energy of this oscillating system is going to remain at this constant value. The next one, looking at acceleration and displacement, was where we had this graph here with a negative straight line that goes through the origin. And the reason for that is that something undergoing SHM will have the acceleration proportional to the displacement, so it's a straight line, and the acceleration is going to be proportional to the negative value of that displacement, and therefore we've got a negative straight line. So that's that one over there. Uh, the next one, looking at potential energy and displacement, well this was number four, and we can see that as something is oscillating uh, and it gets to the end of its movement, in this case um, it doesn't matter if it's oscillating up and down or maybe going side to side, its potential energy increases at the extremes, and that's why the graph goes up at the corners, and that's kind of the opposite of the last graph which is looking at displacement and kinetic energy. And basically when there's zero displacement, that's when we're going to have maximum kinetic energy. That could be the pendulum bob moving really quickly through that equilibrium position. It could be the spring mass system moving really quickly again through that equilibrium position. So when there's zero displacement, it's going to have the maximum kinetic energy. So there we go, four lovely graphs to do with SHM.